How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I wanted to share with you the RV accessories that help us make the RV kitchen way more functional. Some of our favorite RV accessories to use in the kitchen and some stuff that maybe you haven't heard of before, like, like this thing. What, what is this thing? This is something we use in the kitchen. So to start off today, one of the biggest things that we did in our kitchen, we did this really early on from getting our RV to make our kitchen more usable for us was to get rid of the microwave. Now that might be controversial for some, but for us, we've been living without a microwave for, I don't know, over 10 years and we prefer it. So what we prefer to use instead of a microwave is the toaster oven air fryer. Now that they've had air fryers out there, we have a lot more function inside of the space to be able to get a lot more out of it. So for us, this was removing something that we weren't going to use, the microwave, and now having multiple functions inside of that space that we use and prefer to use. So uh, we're able to make toast in the morning, uh, we're able to bake things in there, and that air fryer option is just fantastic. We use that all the time, especially when we're connected to shore power. It's just a great, easy way to be able to warm up food or prepare the food that you have inside of that. And this one has worked fantastic. We've had it for over a year and we haven't had any problems with it. So now now, since the air fryer toaster oven is smaller than the microwave was, we have more space in that area. So this is where we keep our electric tea kettle. And that comes in really handy for making a coffee or tea, and we use it to help boil water. So rather than trying to boil cold water using the propane, if we're connected to shore power, we'll fill that thing up, heat up the water, and then we can put it in a pan, and water is boiling in the fastest time we possibly can inside of the RV. So it even helps preparing meals using that tea kettle up there. It helps us prepare the meals faster, and if it's hot in the summertime, it's an easier way to heat up the water rather than heating up the entire RV with having that flame in there the whole time. So it helps us with that too. Now this next one we heard about from reading our comments in past videos, which I love. I love when people are able to put other advice or tips or comments down there that help other RVers. So uh, this is a reminder, if you have something that you love to use in your kitchen that makes it very functional and one of your favorite things, uh, put that down in the comments below. So this right here is the splatter dome. And it's collapsible, which makes it really nice to use. But the thing that this is really nice for is to help keep your kitchen cleaner. Because uh, if you have stuff splattering out of a pan and it's getting all over the cooktop, that's much more difficult to clean, especially when there's multiple layers. But if you have this dome that you can put on there, you can keep that splatter to a minimum and it's gonna catch all that. So when we're cooking bacon or something like that, and we're just making a little bit, uh, this works out really well to help contain some of that splatter and it has a Lid. So if you needed to cover it, you can use that lid to cover it. So this works for two different sizes. This has the larger ring on the bottom and the smaller ring at the top, and that can just fit right on there to help contain that splatter. And one of the reasons that I like this is because you don't have to remove that splatter containing device in order to still get to your food. You have a lid and you can remove that and you can still get down in there if you're flipping the bacon or something like that. It's still going to be catching that splatter on the sides of the walls and you can still cover it. So it kind of solves a lot of problems. You have these handles for being able to put it on if it's already a, a hot skillet or something like that. Uh, but if you're sauteing things and you want to keep things cleaner, this is a handy little device that collapses. You can make it that tall or as tall as you need. So it comes in fairly handy. Now the next thing on our list is having some type of a blender. We use this for making smoothies. We love to be able to make smoothies inside of the RV. This was a good size for how powerful it is and it works well for us. We had the Vitamix years ago and that thing you could practically put a brick in and it'll grind it up. But this works well with the power and the size for being in the RV and making those smoothies. Now I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna show you what my favorite recipe for a smoothie is. Try and keep up because it's pretty complicated. The first ingredient is getting frozen bananas. So we have frozen bananas in the freezer. Number two is an Orgain protein shake. And number three is some peanut butter. We add in our three amazing ingredients and then we just turn on the Nutri Ninja. Let it mix up and that's it. That's as simple as the smoothie is. Okay, obviously it's pretty easy to make, but still really good. The bananas weren't frozen enough. I only put them in this morning. Usually I put them in the night before, but still a great smoothie. The only problem is every time I go to make a smoothie, somebody or at least two other people 
want one also. So when you make one, you're probably gonna have to make three or four. Now, speaking of cups, the cups that my wife love are these hydro flask cups, and she loves to get them in all these different types of colors. So you grab a color for the day and you know which cup is yours. But the thing that's really handy about these cups that I really appreciate is they're good for hot and cold things. So they're insulated, so you can use them for something hot. They even came with lids that I, I don't know where the lids are right now, but you can also have them for something cold. So if you're using them for ice or the smoothie, it's not going to be sweating on the outside in the summertime, which is nice. So when you pick up your cup, it's not leaving a big wet spot behind. Uh, it's nice to be able to have something insulated for the hot and the cold. My wife really loves these cups. Now talking about things that are hot and cold, now this is something that should be very hot, which is your oven. And this is very practical to be able to get a thermometer that you can use inside of your oven. Oftentimes people will put the stones or something in there to help that heat disperse, which is a great tip, but a tip to be able to use a thermometer inside of your oven is going to be ideal because they are often off by quite a bit. Ours was off by like 100 degrees, and so when you're going to bake a cake or something like that, if you're off by that much, it's not going to bake how you would expect it to. So using a thermometer that you can look at inside of the oven will really help you dial in those temperatures and use the oven that much more effectively. We use our oven all the time, and having that information just, just helps you use it. I think oftentimes people look at the oven inside of an RV and they, they kind of bypass it or don't give it much credit, but there is quite a bit you can do in the oven once you get it working properly. But there isn't a ton of space to be able to use there. It's remarkable what you can do, but to help free up and give us more function outside of the cooktop and the oven, we use the Instant Pot. And this is one that people have used all over and it's been talked about a ton. So just using that Instant Pot to be able to uh, cook rice when you need to and free up that stove top, uh, whatever you can do it can be really handy to make the most use of the space inside the RV kitchen. And along those lines, we also use an electric griddle. So something that's just really easy, really light. It doesn't take up a, a ton of space and it's light for how much you're able to cook on this thing. So since we got rid of the Blackstone for this year, this is how we're cooking the bacon. If we're not doing it on the cooktop with the splatter dome, uh, we're doing a little bit more for the entire family, uh, then we do it on here and it, it's great. It's easy to clean, easy to fire up fire up, it's actually electric. So there's no fire. So using this is really simple. Definitely an asset to have in the kitchen. Now, another thing that my wife absolutely loves is the ice maker, especially as we move into summer and the temperatures get hotter and you want something cold to drink, just having ice that you can control and you can have and you don't have to run out to the store, you can make more ice and you can put that in an ice chest and you can go to the beach. You have so much flexibility when you can just make the ice yourself. So if you don't have one that already dispenses it in a, a residential refrigerator inside of your RV, having a dedicated ice maker is a really nice luxury to go along with your kitchen and to go along with your meals and to have that ice in your water or whatever you're drinking. Now, two things that we have installed in the kitchen. Number one, we have the paper towel holder. And the one that we have, it is kind of tensioned. They're easy to pull off the paper towels, but it's tensioned so when we drive down the road, we don't have to worry about them unraveling. And it's not something extra we have to do on a travel day by putting Velcro around them or a strap or taking them off the paper towel holder. We can just leave them there. They're not going to unspool and they're gonna be there when we set up at the next location and ready to use. Now, the other thing that we absolutely love in here is the RO system because it's the, one of the best ways that we have found to treat our drinking water. And after testing several systems, uh, this is by far our favorite. And this RO system actually has the remineralization in there. So it takes out so much out of the water, all the chemicals and the, the chlorine, the fluoride, the just all the stuff that is in there. And then it adds the minerals that we should be drinking when we're drinking water back into it. So that we know that we're always getting good, clean, consistent water that is healthy for us. Now we have our water filtration system that comes into the RV, but this takes it that step above and beyond uh, to where we always know we're going to get consistent, healthy water, whether we're at an RV park that has a well or if we're at a municipality that uses a lot of chemicals, it's a nice system to be able to have and know the water you're drinking. Now I can go through everything that we have in here. We have melamine plates and bowls that we've been using for over six years and have held up really well. They're starting to get scratches on them a little bit, but after six years, that's 
pretty impressive. We have the Lexan uh, forks and knives and spoons that we use in there. And then our knives that we have for like steak knives and stuff is we have a little knife sharpener. So many times with RVs, you take the hand-me-downs uh, from the house if you're a weekend warrior and those knives go in there and trying to keep those sharp so that when you're slicing into a tomato or something else, you actually have a sharp knife with you. So something this small and easy to have to take those older knives and put a, a decent edge on them so that you can use them again comes in really handy. So uh, I'm hoping to get a better knife sharpener. I'd like to have something nicer than this, but this has worked fantastic for years putting an edge back on those knives, like I said, just to make them usable. But I think that does it for all the things that we really love in the kitchen that we think make the biggest impact for us for the RV accessories in here. So I think that's gonna do it for today. Like I said, please leave a comment down below. I love to be able to read those and other people that are RVing to get those ideas and tips that maybe weren't covered in this video that can go that much further for them enjoying their RVing experience. So like I said, that's gonna do it for today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video. It's just, it's just fun to say. Just say it. Just say Splatterdome. Splatterdome. Thanks.